Hello children, today we will discuss about displacement reaction. In the previous uh, video, I explained you all combination reaction and decomposition reaction. Today topic is a displacement reaction. So first we will understand what is displacement reaction. The types of chemical reaction in which high reactive element displaces less reactive element from its solution is known as displacement reaction. Now, how will you understand which element is high reactive and which element is less reactive? Without knowing the reactivity of element, it is not possible to understand displacement reaction. So to understand reactivity of different elements, we have to learn metals reactivity series. Metals reactivity series as I have as I have written here potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium, zinc, iron, lead, hydrogen. I have enclosed uh, in bracket copper, mercury, Ag, Au, and platinum. These are the different elements which are arranged in decreasing order of their reactivity and this arrangement of different metals in decreasing order of its reactivity is known as metals reactivity series okay the elements which are placed at the top in this reactivity series are highly reactive while the metals placed at the bottom side is a less reactive element Okay, here why I have enclosed hydrogen because hydrogen is taken as a standard. It means that whatever metals are placed above hydrogen, they can displace hydrogen from their solution form. While the element placed bottom to the hydrogen, they cannot displace hydrogen in the solution form. Right? There are some tricks to learn these uh, metals reactivity series. Okay, so I have uh, uh, one trick. The way you can learn it, it is please stop calling me algebra. I like his calling huge smart guy of Patiala. This is the way to learn metals reactivity series. I hope you people understood the definition of displacement reaction and metals reactivity series. <clears throat> Let us understand with example. Okay, for example. The reaction of zinc granules with dilute sulfuric acid, dilute sulfuric acid in the solution form. So when dilute sulfuric acid is poured over zinc metal, it forms <coughs> zinc sulfate ZnSO4 plus hydrogen gas releases. See, in this metal reactivity series you can see hydrogen is placed at the bottom side as compared to Zinc. It means the ability of zinc to displace hydrogen is high. Okay. It means zinc is more reactive as compared to hydrogen. So zinc, that's why it displaces hydrogen from sulfuric acid to form zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas released here. Right. Another example we can understand. For example, the reaction of iron with dilute HCl, dilute HCl, you can see the place of hydrogen and iron, iron element is placed above to hydrogen, it means iron can displace hydrogen from the solution, so here product will be FeCl2 plus hydrogen gas readings. I hope you people understood displacement reaction. Next type of chemical reaction is double decomposition reaction or double displacement reaction double displacement reaction it can be defined as double displacement reaction can be defined as the exchange of radical or mutual exchange of radicals in between the salt especially in solution form. Again, I am repeating. Double displacement reaction is all about mutual exchange of radical. Mutual exchange of radical. Right? Generally, it is of two types. 
प्रेसिपिटेशन रिएक्शन एंड न्यूट्रलाइजेशन रिएक्शन न्यूट्रलाइजेशन रिएक्शन राइट सो लेट अस फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड प्रेसिपिटेशन रिएक्शन एज अ पार्ट ऑफ डबल डिस्प्लेसमेंट रिएक्शन इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेस प्रेसिपिटेशन रिएक्शन आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन यू ऑल सो व्हाट इज प्रेसिपिटेशन व्हेन टू सॉल्ट सॉल्यूशन exchange their radicals to form an insoluble substance into the solution the process is called as precipitation while the type of reaction is known as precipitation reaction for example the reaction of sodium chloride solution with silver nitrate solution so when sodium chloride and silver nitrate they undergo chemical reaction in the solution form they form silver chloride a white color precipitate plus sodium nitrate solution right you can see here the substance in the solution form undergoing mutual exchange of radical if we talk about the charge over the salt substances they are plus minus plus minus always remember when your mutual exchange of radical takes place always positively charged radical and uh, goes with the negatively charged radical while negatively charged radical goes with positively charged radical and resultant what we got it means na plus will go with nitrate that's why sodium nitrate while silver plus will go with cl minus that's why agcl is formed in a very common way we can understand suppose we have a b in the solution form plus c d in the solution form if we talk about charge over the ions present in these salts it is plus minus plus minus so plus with minus and minus with plus resultant we got a d plus c d this is called as double displacement reaction neutralization reaction is a very common type of uh, chemical reaction in which acid react with base to form salt and water for example reaction of sulfuric acid i'm talking about neutralization reaction reaction of sulfuric acid plus sodium hydroxide it forms sodium sulfate plus e h2 right so here sulfuric acid as an acid neutralizing the effect of base sodium hydroxide to form sodium sulfate as a salt and water molecule so when your acid neutralizes the effect of base to form salt and water the chemical reaction is known as neutralization reaction so that's all for today thank you